What's up, Bremerton? Josh Farley with the Kitsap Sun on the roof here at the Horse and Cow Restaurant and Bar on 4th Street. They're just about to open a second floor, and I've got that story along with my usual five that you just got to know about happening in Bremerton this week. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theatre. Story number one, we begin today on the upper deck of the Horse and Cow. Most every night of the week, you'll find the Horse and Cow bustling with customers. The Horse and Cow's owners have decided to expand to this upper level. Here's what they've got planned. Initially, the first three years of the business, we couldn't use the upstairs because of snow fire sprinklers. We ended up waiting to purchase the building, which we've done recently, and now we feel like we can invest in our own building and we'll put sprinklers in and we can eventually move upstairs here and expand. Well, the expansion is needed because on Thursdays, Friday nights, if anybody's been down here, um, it can get pretty busy and some people just look in and they walk away and we're, we're looking at that like oh, that's a you know, lost customer so we try to we want to expand the the restaurant currently we have 32 32 taps downstairs um, we want to put in at least another 30 taps or 32 taps if we can do that um, but it will be a different different beers than what we currently have downstairs story number two at the tail end of 2017 the city of bremerton purchased cameras for ninety two hundred dollars these cameras were to keep tabs on the city's intersections viewed as high crime areas, and they've been installed on or near 6th Street at Park and Warren Avenues. They'll go live following an internal legal review. Well, I think they're going to be a, a, another tool in the toolbox for the police department. Uh, if something happens, they'll be able to uh, resurrect on the, on the camera. They're, they're good, solid cameras, uh, and they'll be able to see what happens. Story number three today, remember how the Chimicum Ferry was giving its riders fits with regard to cell phone signal? Well, the state ferry system has responded to a story in the Kitsap Sun that documented the signal problems within the Chimicum Ferry. They're prepared to spend about $20,000 during ongoing maintenance this spring aboard the Chimicum in which they will add cell phone repeaters that should enhance the signal of those who use cell phone and other emergency equipment on board the vessel. I'll keep you posted as the installation commences this spring. Story number four today, you've probably gotten used to the new pedestrian signal known as a hawk signal at the corner of 6th and High Avenue. But did you know that there is a new hawk signal going in down closer to the shipyard? Along with the remake of the Burwell pedestrian tunnel at the shipyard, the city is paying to improve sidewalks on Chester Avenue and State Avenue and will install another lighted pedestrian crossing at Burwell and Chester. Construction is slated for late winter and early spring. And finally, story number five today. A quick word of thanks to Micah Kippel, a geology student at Central Washington University, and the 320 or so of you who came out to our story walk at Euland Tree Farm and specifically Dickerson Creek Falls. It was so nice to see so many of you interested in our natural wonders here on the Kitsap Peninsula. To access the falls, park at the end of Lieber's Lane, then walk up the main trail going to the right at the first two forks. You'll see a sign for Dickerson Creek Falls and you will be able to behold it just like we did in all of its glory. The Kitsap Sun will have a story walk each and every month for 2018 just as we have in previous years. That's going to do it for this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. Happy New Year to everybody, and we'll see you again next week. Yeah.